from being the face of the BBC quiz show Eggheads, presenting his own shows on Channel 5 and BBC Radio 2, to writing books, Jeremy Vine is a very busy man. Very busy. Uh, he's about to come even busier today because he's releasing his new book, uh, which is this one right like here. like a bookshop this morning. <laughs> the Diver and the Lover. There's a reason they brought me in, Jeremy, and that's because I'm the only one who can model the book appropriately. Uh, congratulations on the release of this. I know it's a big day for book releases today. I think is there something like 400 books are being published or released today. No pressure. Um, but I, think, I think the more the merrier. You know, I think it's fantastic. And gosh, if we can get the bookshops back open and the literary yeah. festivals going, we'll know we're out of this this hell that we're in at the moment. Yeah, it's a it's a beautiful story, Jeremy. Uh, you sent me a copy. I'm very lucky to have uh, had a, a, a little look through it, and I completely got absorbed into it. It's a gorgeous love story. It's based on a painting that you fell in love with. It did. It is indeed. Now, you mentioned eggheads. I do eggheads in Glasgow. We have these incredible routines where we do, well, you'll know this, Ben, from Tipping Point. We do like 65 in a fortnight and yeah. four or five a day. And this day off in the middle became so precious. And we had a question on Salvador Dali, the artist, which I didn't know the answer to, who invented the lobster telephone. And I said, I'm not sure. The egghead said, ah, Dali. And I said, oh, I've always been interested in Salvador Dali because we had the melting clocks and mm. the, on the wall at school, you know, the burning giraffes and all that stuff. And they said, ah, round the corner here in Glasgow at the Kelvin Grove Gallery is one of his finest paintings. And I went to see it. And it took my breath away. I've actually got, I printed it out to show you guys, so we, because I have to describe it. But I, this is much smaller than the original. Are you ready for the unveiling here? There it is, right? So that is the painting oh. I saw on the wall of the Kelvin Grove Gallery, about three or four times the size. And I must have gone there 15 times. I got so into it. And I thought, in the end, I want to write a story about it. Can you just describe it a little bit, Jeremy? It's quite hard for us to see. Is it, is it somebody on a cross? Oh, yes. it's, it's Christ on the well, cross. Of, co of course I will. Sorry, let me go. Here we are. Right, so what you see here is, is Christ on the cross, but from above. Yeah. yeah. And the reason this painting is called Christ of St. John of the Cross is because in the 1500s, a monk did a sketch no bigger than a post-it note of Jesus on the cross from above, and he got beaten up and thrown in jail because that was seen as a blasphemy. Wow. So Dali thought, I'm going to do exactly that notion for myself. So he did it. Now, when you stand in front of it, it's incredible because it's like you're catapulted from outer space towards the earth. And the very first thing you see is the head of Jesus Christ on the cross. Okay. So it, is a, it really throws you when you see it. And the novel, and the novel is, is an imagination of um, the, the person, the model who... Uh, posed. posed for that, falling in love with one of your characters. It's absolutely gorgeous. We, we want to talk to you about your own love story, though, <laughs> Jeremy Vine. <laughs> you have been married for a, a very long time, and now you are going to be working with your wife. Now, are you both sure that this is a good idea? <laughs> I, this wasn't... It wasn't my idea, let me say. <laughs> it was Rachel's idea. <laughs> It came up in the office. They said, we've got an idea for who might might uh, fill in for The Brilliant Storm, my co-presenter on Channel 5. And uh, you're going to like this, they said. And I said, OK, go hit me with it. And they said, it's your wife. Now, she is actually just round the corner from where I'm sitting at the moment. So if you open I'm that door again, careful. will she appear she, she'll, behind it? She'll be stood there. <laughs> Rachel? <laughs> <laughs> she can't be camera shy. She's a television presenter. I don't know what's... Well, I don't know. She wouldn't be expecting... She might even be in her dressing gown. I'm not sure. Right, even the, better. Listen, she knows all my stories. That's the trouble. You know this. You're with a, you know, you're with a partner for life. You, you've got... Uh, oh, here she is. Come on. Come on, Rachel. Come this on, This is great. Rachel. You can do there your best. There we go. OK. We're so. getting a little, little, little <laughs> taste of what's going to happen next week. Rachel, are you ready for this? Broadcasting to well, death for the nation. Ben, I would have more makeup on next week, I can tell you that. <laughs> Been long out of bed, so apologies for the uh, face. But yes, we're we're a little apprehensive. Let's put it that way. I love it. And how ha have you have you worked together before, or is this the moment? Uh, oh gosh, no, we, we've never worked together. No. Of course not, apart from on the lawn. You know, um, <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we, I'm terrified. What was? Have you got any tips? Have you yeah, got any on. tips? No, yeah, you guys, you, work, you may not be married, but you've worked together long enough. We, we would have some, but we've run out of time, sadly, so you're going to have to work oh. it out for yourselves. Good luck. Good, Good luck. Good luck next Thanks. week and best Take of care, luck with guys. the book. <laughs>